Hi everyone! Uh, today I thought I would talk a little bit about trauma triggers, what they are, what their function is, and how we might be able to uh, support those around us who are activated or whose history is activated in the here and now or how we might help ourselves. Um, so the first thing is that a trauma trigger is not the same as being upset. And it is sort of, the term has been used sort of loosely nowadays, which kind of waters down the, the true impact of being activated by your history and what that feels like in the moment. Uh, so truthfully, a trigger is something that activates us and sends us back into the past. And it could be anything because it's all about the sensory material and the fragments of the memory that are showing up in the present and our bodies are interpreting those things as somehow being relevant and also seeing them as threatening. So the goal then is for us to be able to first identify what our triggers are and recognize that being upset, even really upset, is not the same as being triggered in quotes. Uh, being triggered does legitimately mean as it, that we feel as though we're living in the past even though we're living in the present and we're responding to something that was probably really terrifying. Or, it could, I mean, we could talk about all different kinds of trauma and how they're experienced. I'll do that next time. But for now, just the beginning is recognizing what our trauma triggers are uh, and giving them validity. So it could be a smell, it could be a color, a time of day, a time of year. Uh, it could be any kind of sensation, anything that uh, relates to the past, to specific memories or cluster of memories. And those things tend to send us back. It can also be interpersonal in nature in that, um, you know, a fear of abandonment. We might perceive people as threatening to leave when that indeed is not happening. Or um, we might feel very fearful of conflict and might be inclined to smooth things over or take care of other people or please people to avoid any kind of interpersonal distress. Those are some examples. So trauma triggers can be anything. Uh, and they're very unique and specific to the person and the person's value set. So I like to think as triggers being something that highlights what's good about us um, because the reason that we're upset and that that trigger stuck with us is because it, re it reflects our values, what we care about, and what about the memory was violated or what about the memory violated our value set. Uh, so triggers can help highlight what's good in us and what we care about. Uh, they can also be functional and protective in that the body is perceiving something in the environment as threatening because it resembles the past. Uh, so we want to help our bodies understand that there's a difference and teach our bodies that, you know, here and now is different. I have control over this situation. These are the things that are similar and these are the things that are different. So having one foot in the past and one foot in the present while educating your body on the reality of the here and now can help soften triggers. But again, the first thing, the first step that we want to do in supporting those that we love or that we're coaching, etc., is to start by uh, educating the body on what the triggers are. And usually you can tell because they're disproportionate. It's a bigger reaction than uh, what is called for in the moment. That does not mean that the trigger is wrong or that your um, your response to the moment is wrong or that it shouldn't be validated. None of that is true. Rather, it's bigger. It's causing a larger response than what is necessary in the moment because in all likelihood, you're not threatened in the same way or your clients are not threatened in the same way that they were historically. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, again, just a repeat first step, identifying what triggers are. We can do that by recognizing when our, our response is bigger than we think it should be or that what we would like it to be. That doesn't mean we smash it down or ignore it or judge it. We just want to become familiar with it. Uh, and then practice reminding our bodies the difference between then and now. Uh, and also honoring the likenesses because those triggers are there to protect you. We just want to understand and re-educate the body. Hopefully that helps. Um, have a good day and check out the blog I wrote on what a trauma trigger is if you're interested and stay tuned. Take good care.